of viewing. I found the baby stoat that's been lost. She would be normally in a litter, maybe six, seven, eight. Given her milk when she was tiny, it was a really delicate operation. Very really wobbly. She just got one eye open, so that indicates she's five weeks old. As you can see, she's got a really fat little tummy there. So she's got her own little sleeping bag in here, and she's going to be nice and cosy in there. Whisper's coming on really well, just going really fast now. All right, it's time for a bigger enclosure for her. She'll come out and she's going to have a whole new little world to explore in there. There we go, she's getting braver. The main thing it likes is human company. That's something that we've got to change. I feel a little bit sorry for her in a way that she's not got any playmates yet. We're always on the lookout for another stoke kit that's been lost and if we find one we'll do everything we can to get them together. Someone contacted me from Norfolk. They found a baby stoat in their garden. And with a few phone calls and a bit of driving, they've actually got the baby stoat here. So there we are, exactly the same age as Whisper. This one's quite shy. And it's called Stuart. Stuart's a girl. And I'm gonna pop her in uh, now with Whisper and we'll see what happens. Neither of these have seen the stoat before because we were both found with their eyes closed. So this is going to be a really exciting moment. Here comes Stuart just having a little look out and we've got Whisper exploring around the back. I'm sure this is going to work. Yeah, let's just calm it down a bit. So this is it, they've been in there less than half an hour together and uh, we've got them playing. They've realised they've got a playmate now, <laughs> which is just superb. They're getting really active now. They're climbing, they're fighting, they're playing. They're really ready for the next part of their development, which is going outside into the release enclosure. All right, that's it. We've got two, uh, two stones in here now and we're just going to walk out to the uh, enclosure. So I'm going to put the stoats into the nest here but they've got loads of places to explore here. We've got the dry stone wall here. So we've got a little nose poking out here so they're really raring to go. Stuart was cautious, just popping her head out of the wall, sniffing at the air. Whereas Whisper's much more confident, straight out exploring a new enclosure. Over the next few days, they became more and more confident and started playing in this enclosure, which was just fabulous to see. It was great to see some rivalry between the two kits. Whisper had some food, and a hungry steward tried stealing it. I even built them a pond. It was absolutely brilliant watching them swim around, playing and fighting in the pond. And now I'm pretty confident they're ready for their next stage, which is life in the wild. Stuart was first to appear, sniffing around at the entrance. Eventually, she takes her first cautious steps into the wild. Whisper and Stuart stayed in and around the enclosure for about a week before setting off for their new life in the wild. It's been an amazing experience being part of these young stoats' lives, and I look forward to catching up with them in the future.